Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of May 1st through the 6th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Seems like some of you are getting ready to make a decision to walk away from something. Um, I feel like it's coming from you personally feeling like that's the right thing for you to do at this moment. Um, it also has to do with your, you know, personal stability. I feel like some of you are trying to focus on your money. You're just trying to focus on your career. I feel like some of you don't have time to deal with a situation that has been stressful. Um, it's been taking away your energy. It's been draining you. Yeah, I feel like you're also dealing um, with a situation where someone here hasn't been honest. Someone here hasn't been loyal or there's been some sort of betrayal and it's left you feeling confused and it's left you feeling like there's no other option but to create a distance here. So I just see you really standing up for what's important to you, your mental health um, also, and just your stability, your foundation. Some of you don't have time to waste with someone that doesn't know what they want. Because that's kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like you're dealing with someone that's been very indecisive, like very up and down. Um, it's an energy that you can't rely on. And some of you are really tired of, you know, trying to make a decision for someone else because that's not your job. I feel like you know what you want. You know, you are very clear on what you're wanting right now, Sagittarius. It's this person. They don't know what they want. They don't um, have a clear direction. And I feel like right now you're all about clarity. You're all about the truth. And you're deciding if this person isn't going to be honest, if they're not sure of what they want, if they're just going to keep deceiving themselves and then deceiving me, um, then that's not something I'm interested in. So we have Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This to me is already saying you are just focused on the future, but if you don't see a future with somebody here because they're being deceitful or they're not honest with themselves or they're not sure of what they want, then that's not something you can rely on. We also have Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Again, if there's not teamwork, things cannot move forward. And so I feel like the only thing you're focused on is how do I get the clear answer right away so I can move on with my life. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Pentacles, there's either going to be a decision to work together or you're going to finally decide I'm not going to keep putting effort into something when there isn't that reciprocation. So I just see you being very sure of, you know, what it is you're trying to do now that you have seen where this is going. So we have the Lovers, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, Temperance, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cup, Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So you're showing up here. Um, I feel like with the Temperance and the Eight of Cups, this is you saying, you know what? I've given this too much time. I've waited too long to see if this changes. It hasn't changed. I finally need to walk away. So I just see you being very sure this week to make that decision. Um, I don't think it's an easy decision. In fact, for some of you, you, you're almost dreading it. You're dreading even having maybe the conversation. You're dreading um, even having to do it. You know, it's almost like this is a partnership or a relationship that at one point you really loved. You know, there was a lot of love. There was a lot of passion. And so now suddenly having to say, I need to take care of myself and just make this decision. I feel like it's weighing heavily on a lot of you, but at the same time, you have to honor yourself. And I feel like that's what you're doing by making this choice. With the Two of Swords and the Nine of Cups, I see you kind of saying, you know, to yourself that if you don't, if you don't see any other way, um, you know, if you don't see any effort from this person as well, if they're not making it easy for you and they're not giving you some sort of choice or they're not giving you a clear idea of what they want, then you have to, at the end of the day, by default, choose what's best for you. And so this Nine of Cups is saying you're putting yourself first. You're going from within and deciding that right now you just have to honor yourself. You have to, um, you know, protect your feelings, protect your, your energy. You've been giving a lot to this person already and you can't give any more if you're not going to receive anything back. Um, so it's, it's almost bittersweet because you're feeling empowered to make this decision for yourself, but at the same time, you are kind of maybe feeling the loss of a relationship that once was everything you wanted it to be. So it's, it's kind of a, 
tricky situation but with the lovers and the king of pentacles i also see you knowing and having that understanding that you know as long as you focus on yourself and you continue to further yourself you know as far as success your career your goals i feel like you understand that that will then bring you a partnership that really is meant for you i feel like a lot of you have a lot of um wisdom and like self-awareness you know and so that's going to help you kind of move through this situation as you um you know start to make this decision so I, I see you being very clear on what you're doing and why you're doing it and i see you even looking farther ahead and saying if i focus on me i'm gonna attract someone that is meant for me a, a partnership that really is going to live up to my standards could be dealing with a gemini um as well so let's clarify the two of pentacles We have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like once you make this decision, you're going to have some time to just kind of be on your own. And I think you're going to utilize that in the best way possible. I feel like you're going to use this time to heal, to recover, to just rest. Focus on yourself. Make a plan for your future. Focus on your goals. Um, I see you taking a much needed break from other people as well. I feel like you're just going to um, use this to kind of just lay low um, and take care of yourself. Um, some of you need more self-care. You've been working too hard. You've been doing too much. And you need to, to rest and recover as you go through this process as well of walking away from someone. But with the world, Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords, I see a lot of good coming from you now choosing to protect your peace. I feel like you're going to get a lot of relief um emotional relief mental relief i also see you having more time to focus on yourself and like even your finances are going to improve it's almost like as soon as you walk away from this and your mind is clear and you're able to just flow i feel like you're going to have more time to plan to you know invest to just you know think about your finances and your goals with more clarity so i see you kind of being released from a distraction that you don't need right now because there's a lot of good changes coming for you i feel like you're about to start something really amazing here i feel like you might be starting a new journey within career maybe you're going to school maybe you are starting your own business it's almost like you're embarking on a very important change and path here and you're needing to be very level-headed very clear and very uh focused so I see your focus increasing, your finances increasing, your ability to keep going in your own lane increasing because you're going to distance yourself from something that doesn't serve you anymore and doesn't do anything but drain you of your energy and your clarity. All right, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. All right, we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, honestly, I feel like this is also speaking to the way that things are lining up, like in the astrology. Um, I believe Mars is in cancer. So I feel like our emotions might be dictating our movements at this time, but for the right reasons. It's almost like you're honoring your truth and that's how you're moving. You're not lying to yourself anymore. You're not shying away from your emotions and what they're really telling to you, what they're really telling you. So with the, the chariot here, this is you moving with conviction, moving with determination and with clarity of why you're doing what you're doing. So to clarify the Eight of Cups, the fact that this is showing up is I don't see any regret at all from this decision. I don't see you questioning, am I doing the right thing? I see you saying, you know what, this feels right, so I'm going to do it. Um, you're opening yourself up to a better future as well. With the Page of Pentacles the hanged one and the eight of wands you may have trouble communicating this at first maybe this decision right now has you feeling stuck because you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings you don't want to um you know have any drama or tension but and and maybe there's been a separation as well and so you're having to kind of do this after some time of not speaking to them so it, maybe it's a little bit awkward for you so i feel you i feel you kind of just being a little bit stuck right now uh maybe this is something that this week will clear up and you'll find that motivation or that desire to finally deal with it but i honestly feel like what you're going to find is you're going to have an opportunity here to speak this, this is what i'm getting the page of pentacles is you having this sudden opportunity to say how you really feel and then that'll open up the conversation that'll open up for the message to be sent whether it's spoken written you know however it is that you have this interaction i feel like you're going to have the perfect opportunity to say how you really feel and then that will take you out of hanged the hanged man mode it'll take you out of that weird feeling and it'll just kind of 
send you straight into a direct path where you're no longer wondering how do I do this? What's going to happen? It's like you're just going to handle it. You're going to you're going to take it control of it. You're going to handle the situation um, with ease and it's really all about just waiting for that moment to come. But I feel like once it does, everything is just going to go smoothly from there and you're going to feel really happy and really satisfied with that decision that you've made. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.